You're wrong. Um, so I won't go through all that. Um, what I will say is that we're continuing um, the very shiny shoes because uh, Marion's got shiny black shoes on. So we'll, we'll see. Um, we'll see what the last act of the day. <laughs> and shiny tights as well. Um, so Marion and Gregor collectively, Fleetwood Kane. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I feel ever so bad, I didn't notice then. Yeah. Nice. How are you doing okay? Are you? So we're going to be really cruel and try and get you to sing with us from the off. Up for that? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> well maybe we're being cruel to ourselves. Up for singing with us with this one? Yeah. Yeah, why not? So, the, the, the chorus, the chorus on this, as the walls are built higher, the harder we'll push, and the harder we'll push, dear, as the stronger we'll become. Is that okay? Good. One voice. <laughs> Stopped his credit card and he walked by the river. His maker wasn't far, and as he sat on the bank, thoughts in his mind on the 18th day of May, to tune to the breeze. It's such a lovely festival, so we've just been walking around town, just absorbing 
and bumping into yeah. hobby horses and all sorts of things. She says absorbing, we've been drinking coffee yeah, we, and eating yeah. croissants. We, we, we had a coffee and a croissant and then a pint at the Reindeer, um, where, um, who, what, were the, uh, what were the band who were on last night called? Can't remember, Chicken. Steam Chicken. Steam Chicken were doing this awesome set at the Reindeer. Yeah. So the reindeer this afternoon was like, it was like walking into a pub that you want to be, you know. It's it was a proper pub. Um, so it's really, really lovely to be back again this year. Last year we were here with Tradar, which was slightly louder and slightly more cramped than we are now up here. Um, but it's really lovely to be back. So thank you to Derek and Mary for having us. And um, we're playing um, material from our new album, which you can't buy yet. Sorry. Um, uh, but uh, is in the process of being finished off now. And um, this is one of the songs from it. <coughs> it's called Guinea Golden, and um, it's based on uh, a poem by uh, Emily Dickinson. And I wrote it in a little cottage in Clifford Chambers, which I'll tell you about later. So. It's got a little tune in the middle written by Greg called The Amorous Housewife.
How are we doing? Okay? So who's, who's camping this weekend? Is that, is that in a in like posh camping van with a baby? Yeah. It's not proper camping then. Anybody in campers? Why are you in camping? That man's in camp. Yeah, round of applause. <laughs> Saturday, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got a transit van, and, I, and what I've been doing the last couple of years is putting a mattress in the back. That, that's my conversion that I've done. I've got as far as putting a window in it and getting a double mattress. I didn't actually buy a double mattress, an old one with horrible stains on. You know, you know the one. And uh, each year when it gets to around September, October time, I have to bring the mattress in. And fumigate it. <laughs> and I, I did that, I did that at least a month ago now, so that, that declares the end of my camping. I nearly kept it in for this weekend, but I'm not going to go home to my warm bed. <laughs> His name's Wilco. You'll hear a, a sort of high-pitched voice now and again. A bit unruly and he's over there. And um, turn around and say, Wilco, wait to everybody. He's just going. <laughs> <laughs> he performs when he wants to, is it? <laughs> so we, we were rehearsing around my house, me and Marion, not too long ago, and um, and we, we were talking about this song, and this song's called, we were calling it Jesus. And um, Wilco said, Jesus lives in Toaster. <laughs> so that's the name of this song now. So he must play this one for Wilco. No idea why my son said Jesus lives in Toaster. But he must be right. One, two, three, September sun We did things you never done When the autumn was over She moved on And I Fell to the floor Moving on One and
months ago When you reap so red and green And you won't sleep as a good luck Bring it to your gypsy queen Seem to always get it hard. The 
rich at the top, always telling us how things ought to be. Just chilling with me train horse. <laughs> Surreal. <laughs> 
knows the trials. Get out, get, get out now, get out. He's got a whole barrel of shelves on the back there. Anyway, back to the, uh, um... <coughs> that was weird. That was very, that was very odd, but lovely. Only at Bambury Folk Festival. Oh, so, um, follow that. Okay, I'll follow it with a song about my friend Sue who died a few years ago. She wasn't a hobby. She wasn't a hobby, no. she was lovely. She was, she was a fabulous, fabulous lady. And uh, she um, had uh, breast cancer and she had I suppose about 18 months and she knew she didn't have very long so she had 18 months warning if you like and just decided to do nothing but drink Prosecco and eat Marks and Spencer's party food which if you're going to have 18 months you may as well do that I think it's great she, she just went for it and literally drank Prosecco and, and ate, her favourite things were those um, the, the, the coconut prawn thingies, you know, the Singapore ones, yeah? They were her favourite. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. Mine, they were mine as well. <laughs> and she lived two doors away from me, and, and every now and then she'd turn up at the door already half cut on Prosecco with a bottle of Prosecco, 20 Benson, 20 Benson and Hedges, and a plate of Volvons. <laughs> <laughs> and go, would you, would you like to join me now? <laughs> she yeah, great, why not? And then, she was fabulous. And, um, one day she turned up and uh, she had two wigs made by Trevor Sorby. You know, Trevor Sorby does that fantastic project where he gets wigs and cuts them into proper hairstyles um, for ladies who are going through chemo. And she had two of those wigs and she turned up on one day with the 20 Benson and Hedges and the bottle of Prosecco and some party food. And the whole of the front of fringe had melted in this kind of frizzly mess, melted wig plastic kind of hair. And, uh, and, and so she was at the door with <laughs> volivons and some champagne. And I said, Sue, have you seen your hair? Do you want to come in? That's fine. Have you, have you seen your hair? And she went, no, but I haven't seen it. I don't know what, what's happened. And I said, come and come have a look in the mirror. And it turns out that as she'd opened the oven to get the volivons or whatever the party food is, that, you know that blast of hot air that comes out? It had melted the front of her wig and she hadn't looked, you know. So she'd come round and say, oh, I better go and put my other one on, the one on. So I washed the toggles and put the other one on. And, um, and I only knew Sue when we were at that obviously, to, for about eight years before she died. Um, <coughs> so I didn't know her as a child, but I, I imagine that she was an absolute raver and enjoyed dancing. Um, and so I wrote a song about Sue, kind of imagining what it would have been like to be her friend. Um, and so, yeah, this is for Sue. And uh, wherever you are, Sue. Somewhere with a bottle of Prosecco and some coconut prawns. She was fabulous.
Got time for one more, is that okay? Yes. Two. All white. Or one long one or a prop one. Yeah. We decided together here we're making a decision as a duo. Yeah, I'm winning. Let's go. <laughs> And um, um, of course, Swarb sang it originally, um, and so on all the Metro Lyric sites, you know, those lyric lookup sites and things that you go, in the last verse, there's question marks all over the place because nobody could make out quite what he sang on any of the recordings. <coughs> um, and, uh, and so we, uh, we phoned up Simon Nickel, like you do, and said, we're doing Wizard of the World again. Um, Simon's also one of our lovely folk choir guests on, on the title track. And, um, and bless him, he, uh, he, he went off and looked it up on iTunes himself, because he said, that's a bloody long time ago, I can't remember the words of that. So off he went and looked it up on iTunes, couldn't be bothered to spend the 99p on buying the track to listen to the end. So he uh, so kind of racked his brains and sat, and then, uh, and then emailed us with a, a, what he called, in, in inimitable Simon Nichols style, a fair approximation of what the lyrics <laughs> should be. <laughs> so, so the, the, the lyrics in the third verse are not what I thought they were at all, and, and not what anybody else who's uh, recorded them on Metro Limit lyrics uh, has thought they were either. But they're lovely. So um, if they're wrong, it's not my fault, it's not our fault, it's Simon's for not being able to remember it either. And, um, <clears throat> and we're going to go straight into a tune um, which hopefully will get your toes tapping and send you off out into the sunshine for the little break with your uh, spirits high. Um, and uh, it's written, it's a tune we wrote um, for Swarm um, called Lazarus, so that goes after Wizard. Thank you very much for coming to see us this afternoon. And um, we, we're doing a special deal for Boundary tonight, um, this afternoon. Both of our albums for £10. Ooh. So buy one, get one free. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll be at the back at the end. And then we're doing a Meet the Artist at the Methodist Hall at 4 o'clock. So if anyone wants to come and meet us, um, <laughs> we'll have a bicky or something together. Uh, and a bit of a chat. Yeah, bicky, a bicky. <laughs> Betraying my scouse roots there, sorry. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh. 
to go to the Well, now, for all the time and all the time, never mind about that. <laughs> Let's give you a round of applause again. Come on. You're not smart. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's great being just a good song. Right, it's okay. Um, what can we do? Lemmy one now, so we'll do, we'll do you a Lemmy one? Yeah? Yeah, so, so rock stars kept dying this year. There's no, there's no getting away from it. And when we started playing together at the beginning of this year, this year, this man, Mr. Lemmy, died. And, uh, uh, followed by the, you know, Bowie and uh, all others. And, but we thought we can't go into doing tribute, uh, like a tribute act, doing a song for everyone that's died this year. Or well, I'd look ridiculous as Ziggy Stardust, I can't do that. <laughs> so we're going to stick this one. So this, is, this is our homage to Jack Daniels, Lemmy, the people that have left us this year. And it's going to involve you guys at the end, so please join in. We have been enjoying all of them this year. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better now? Yeah. Do I look like Lemmy now? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, hurry on sometimes to what tomorrow Boys with a really low voice. Oh, 